Welcome, welcome back, welcome to my YouTube channel. There's a street cleaner outside. You probably picked the bad time to start vlogging. <laughs> but this weekend I'm going to a hen party in Bath. So I thought I would vlog it. I thought I would take you along and we can spend the weekend together doing fun activities. I've just finished packing my bag. I was supposed to pack yesterday. It, it is what it is. And I'll show you my outfit for the day. I'm already sweating. It's gonna be like 30 degrees today. It's like slightly cooler in Bath than it is in London, but like one degree. <laughs> I feel like it's kind of a bit booby, <laughs> but it's hot. And we're going into like afternoon tea and I feel like this is kind of like an afternoon tea dress. I was thinking of wearing a like midi skirt, but they're all too tight. So I have to walk like kind of like this and we don't want to do that. Might be a mistake not wearing shorts underneath this dress, but I do have shorts in my bag, so if it gets bad, I can put them on. Can't find my chafe, anti chafe stuff, so I'm just gonna have to walk with my legs apart. I think that's the solution. But yeah, uh, I just need to check that I have everything in my bag and then head on down to the train station. I'm planning to leave in five minutes and I've given myself an hour to get to the train station because if you followed me for a while, like when I used to go on the trains a lot, like to go home and like, I don't even know why I was going on trains so much, but I feel like I used to get them quite often. I'm always just on time. I wanna stop doing that <laughs> and get there early, maybe get a snack. people just waiting for the trains. I'm in Starbucks, that's probably why I can hear random names just being called out. So, I think I will be late. Oh my gosh. But it's not my fault. I for once was on time for the train. <laughs> and the train is late. And the train station is incredibly busy. So I'm just looking at this for live updates because where they have the board of all of the train times, it's so packed and you can't sit down, you can't do anything except stand in a crowd and I don't want to stand in the crowd. I'm trying the iced pumpkin spice latte. They do have autumn drinks, which is not in the Starbucks movie, which is kind of annoying, but we're here. I'm meant to be meeting my friends at 12, so <laughs> hopefully the trains will start running. It actually only takes an hour and 15 minutes, so if the trains start running around 10, half 10, 11, I should be fine. If they start running after that, I don't know. It's so stupid though, because like my app is saying there's disruptions at Reading Station, it's expected until 11. I haven't heard a single announcement at all for any delays, but every single train that's going from this station, except the one to Gatwick, is delayed. Love that. <laughs> At least it's not just me though, people are saying in their chat that they are also, their trains are cancelled, so whatever. I've got this, I've got my Kindle, I've got my iPad, I've got my phone, I should be fine. But it's just a question of like, when will I be able to leave? Because I've got plans tomorrow as well, otherwise I'd just go home and not go. And also I've paid for this train, come on now, they better give me a refund or some money back or something. This is really good. I finally made it. 
had to get a train three hours after the one that I was planning to get, which is kind of annoying. So I missed the afternoon tea. The thing I was looking forward to the most. <laughs> We're now gonna meet everyone, hopefully. Hopefully they're still in the same place. what's inside this little goodie bag that I got given. I ended up being late, so I missed the afternoon tea. I think I already said that. But I went to the flower crown making, and I'll show you what's inside. There was this pink gin and diet lemonade. I drank it on the train <laughs> because I was so thirsty. And I was like, I just need a drink. So I drank that one. What is this? A straw, it says sip sip hooray. I got a bag of sweets, but I've eaten some of them already. And they were all vegan. Love that. A face mask, pink chocolate truffle, and, and some prompts. And I think I was supposed to write these at the party, but I didn't. This is Kisses for the Misses, which I'm not sure what that means. Um, advice for the bride, and one of my favorite memories of the bride. Sorry, I didn't fill this in with a pen to fill it in. A blue hairband, party popper, but this is faded. I assume it said face pen party on it. I wonder if everyone popped them, I just wasn't there. I don't know. <laughs> and then finally, it's a little, like, oh, I think it's a magnet. I don't have a magnetic bridge, but I'll, I'll keep it anyway. Uh, it just says, phase hem party bath, September 2023. I quite like that. And that's it. I'm gonna head to bed. I'm already in bed, but I'm gonna lie down and go to sleep. I finished reading The Assassin's Blade, and I was gonna go straight into Throne of Glass, but then I was like, let me finish a series that I've already halfway through before like going into another one even though i already read the first book so i'm reading this one ashes and the star cursed king it's the second book in the what's it called it's like the serpent and the wings of the night something like that it's the second book and so far so good it's written from the perspective of the girl and also the press what the perspective of the girl and also the perspective of the boy. The story reads quicker when there's like two different perspectives, if that makes sense. It's like when you have a book with really short chapters and it just kind of like keeps flowing. That's how this kind of feels. To be fair, I did read the first book really fast and this is the sequel. So I'm gonna read that and go to sleep. This 
is not, not a stable place to put this. But I am at the train station now, you can probably tell. Such a nice day. I feel like it was really weird at the spa, like they made us lock our phones in these like lockable things. I don't even know how to describe. I think I showed it on the camera maybe. Um, e scooters abound on all Great Western Railway train used travel. What was I gonna say? Oh yeah, so we went to the spa, we were there for two hours, just like kind of swimming around and we went in the sauna, the steam room, the like hot and cold showers and yeah, there's an outdoor pool on the roof and there's like a downstairs kind of like pool with like a jacuzzi and like a whirlpool, like a whirlpool kind of thing that makes you float around. Um, so that was very nice. I like couldn't film anything and it's like really nice views. They used to let you take your... I mean, there used to be signs saying like no phones, but you could take them. And now they make you lock them away. Like before they give you the key for the lockers. So I don't know why they're being more strict on that. Maybe there was something happened or I don't know. That was pretty nice. And then we went to the Heron Hounds. We are sorry to announce that the 1858. <laughs> yeah, we went to the Heron Hounds for a dinner and I got a roast dinner. And it was, it was like pretty dense. Like it was like a beyond me beef wellington type thing and i feel like <laughs> i wonder how many like beyond meat burgers were inside the one wellington because it was like massive it was very dense it was good but i feel like it could have been better um like not the best roast dinner like all the other stuff like the roast potatoes the vegetables they weren't really they weren't like the best that they could have been but like the beef wellington was pretty good uh, it was something i haven't seen before so that was good creativity wise that was very good and now i'm here that's the story i'm going home there's no delays this time thank god i'm not being funny but my journey here yesterday was incredible like i was in that starbucks for like three hours <laughs> it was so annoying <laughs> should be home by like half nine if i'm lucky it was a very short quick trip to bath it was meant to be longer i did still have a nice time i looked so tired in the clip where i'm showing you the goodie bag stuff and i like literally didn't even recap the day but most of my day was spent in that starbucks waiting for the train i got a partial refund even though i was three hours late to my destination and i think it's because i had a return ticket and the return journey it was slightly delayed like after i filmed all that stuff in the train station a woman sat next to me and i was like <laughs> i can't film anymore i'm too like she's too close i'm embarrassed i'm gonna go because i keep rambling whenever i turn on the camera i just start rambling thank you for watching if you're new subscribe <laughs> please subscribe if you're new and leave me a comment if you're enjoying the vlogs It'll be like in two videos time. I haven't filmed it yet, but I'm planning to do a what I eat in a week. So that's to come. If you're here for the vegan food content, vegan food is always throughout because I gotta eat. I gotta eat, but I will do like a dedicated video for it because I feel like people enjoy those. Anyway, goodbye. <laughs> See you soon.